Hello everyone, today I will be teaching you how to set up and use Discord event webhooks. It is a plugin for versions 1.13 to 1.18 and it allows you to connect your Discord server with your Minecraft server. This plugin is fully GUI and command based so you can configure everything in game and it requires you to not have to go to the config.yml. Once you're ready to get started, click download now. Once the file is downloaded, Head over to your plugins folder and upload the file. Once your file is uploaded, head over to your console and start the server. Before we get started, you should know how to create a Discord webhook. To do that, head over to your Discord server, then go to the channel settings. So, choose the channel you want the webhook to be in, and then click the channel settings, and click integrations. In here, you can click create webhook, and you click copy webhook URL. Once your server is online, go ahead and join it. To get started, simply go ahead and run slash discord webhooks, and that will bring up the main editing GUI. On here, you can get help, so you'll find some helpful links if you need it. You can also change some settings of the plugin, as well as you can configure the join webhook, leave webhook, bed enter webhook, bed exit webhook, and the command webhook, which is coming soon. So the join webhook is when a user joins, the leave webhook is when a uh, user will leave. Uh, bed enter is when a user gets into the bed. And of course, bed exit is when they get out of the bed. So, let's go ahead and configure the join webhook. To do that, simply go ahead and click on the beacon. In here, you can enable or disable it. So, say you don't want to use it and you keep getting errors saying invalid URL. Simply go ahead and disable it and that will solve all your issues. Next, you can set the webhook URL. So, to do it, simply go ahead and click it, then run slash jwurl, and then put the webhook URL. And as you can see, that's now been set. To reopen the GUI, simply go ahead and run slash discord webhooks, and go back here. And as you can see, the webhook's been set. And now, let's go ahead and set the title. The title is like the top part of the embed that the webhook will send. So, let's go ahead and set this to jw title and i'll do a special person has joined exclamation mark and if we go here back here as you can see a special person has joined is now in purple as that's what you've set it to and if we go to the webhook description let's go ahead and do slash jw desk and let's do player name is the person that has joined the server exclamation mark and as you can see that's now been set come back in here all right as you can see right there and now let's set the footer which is the very bottom part by the way the description is like the main part of the embed and the footer is the very bottom so i'm gonna do a jw footer and i'm gonna go ahead and set it to you know uh server join message and that's been set if we come down here one more time you can set the username of the webhook so for me i'm just gonna call this jw name and this is gonna be join alert webhook and as you can see that's now been set and if you really want to go even more in depth you can also set the profile picture of the webhook for this example, I'm not going to set it, but if you were to set it, make sure to send a link that the plugin can set the, you know, webhook profile picture to. Make sure to link. If not, it will not work. Once you've done that, it should all be set up. So if you go ahead and leave and rejoin, you can see that the message will be sent in the Discord. Let me go ahead and show an example right now. As you can see, when you join, the webhook will send the join webhook you sent. And if you haven't sent the leave message already, you might get an error saying invalid URL. To fix that, simply follow the same procedure as I'll show you right now. To set the leave webhook, simply follow the same steps you did earlier. Enable or disable it if you want. Set the URL, set the title, description, footer, username, and icon. It's the exact same steps, and when you do it properly, it should send when you leave. If you have any issues, simply go ahead and join my Discord and let me know. You can find my Discord by clicking this bone right here. As you can see, here's the Discord. The steps for all the other webhooks are the exact same. I tried making it as simple as possible. Again, if you do the bed enter, same thing. It has all the same options and you will set it up the exact same way. 
By the way, there is a placeholder you can use on the descriptions of each webhook. I might add it on the header and footer eventually, but that's coming soon. The placeholder is, as you can see, it's, it's my screen's too small, but it says to use the percent sign player underscore name percent sign, and that will give you the name of the user who triggered the event. So for like the bed enter, it'll be for the person who got in the bed. Bed exit is the person who got out of the bed, and so on. There's one more option here on this GUI, and that's the settings. In here, you can change the language, which currently I only have English, but I'm gonna add more soon. And the last thing is the developer stats. If this is set to true, I will receive some information about your server to help monitor my plugin. So any errors will be sent to me and as well as a few other things. Nothing personal is collected and you can turn it off if you want and I will not get that information. If you set anything in the config.yml, you can use slash discord, webhooks, reload, and that will reload the config.yml. If you're curious about what the config.yml looks like, this is what it looks like. It's separated into the language section, the webhook URL section, the messages or the embed section, the features, whether you want them on or off, true means on, false means off, and you can also turn on and off the send dev stats feature. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below saying what plugin I should do a tutorial on next, and I might just do it. And I'll see you next time. I can't wait to leave this town, cause lately I've been feeling